On Saturday, August 24, the 34-year-old 19 kids and Counting Alum posted a YouTube video where she documented surprising her then-boyfriend, Stephen Wisman, 31, at his job. Duggar and Wisman officially married on Thursday, August 15, seemingly after this video was filmed. In the eight-minute video titled Surprising My Boyfriend at Work, the counting on Alum explains how Wisman installs irrigation systems for work, forcing him to travel a lot. Duggar says she could deduce where her hubby was, based on a picture he sent from his job site, and that she drove through the night to get there. At first, the eldest daughter of the Duggar family aimed to play it cool, as she FaceTimed Wisman and pretended she was running errands. However, after driving around with no luck, she eventually came clean to her partner and asked where exactly he was. Wisman seemed shocked and touched, saying, Oh my word, you've got to be kidding me. Upon seeing each other, the pair embraced in a hug. Made his whole day, and mine, Duggar wrote on top of the clip. After the pair reunited, they held hands in the car and listened to some Michael Bublé while driving. Later in the video, Duggar flashed adorable pictures of her and Wisman on the screen and wrote, Had so much fun hanging out with him. Lots of quality time and fun memories. He lights up my world. Fans were thrilled to get an inside look at the couple's life together and loved how happy Duggar appeared. I am so happy she found her person. She once described the type of man she was looking for, and she was willing to wait for that. She did, and he is the one. I'm just smiling so big because I know how special this is and she is glowing. Their wedding photos were beautiful and she was stunning. One fan commented under the video. Another user wrote, I can't say how much I love this for you. A loving true partnership is absolutely worth waiting on God's timing. Duggar and Wisman got engaged in June and subsequently tied the knot in August. Their Arkansas wedding was held at the Grand at Willow Springs. Jana's father, Jim Bob Duggar walked her down the aisle while her sister Jessa Duggar Seawald was a maid of honor. Duggar told people that she planned to move to Nebraska to live with Wisman after the wedding. Jonna Duggar, the second oldest child of Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar, kept quiet following the release of Amazon Prime Video's Shiny Happy People. Duggar Family Secrets documentary, in which sister Jill Dillard, Nee Duggar, and cousin Amy King, Nee Duggar, exposed the abuse and control the Duggar kids experienced growing up. While other family members shared their thoughts on the four-part series, Jana didn't spoken out, leading many fans to wonder what she's been up to recently. Many of Jana's 18 siblings have gone through the process of courting and getting married, as seen on the Duggar family's now-defunct TLC shows, 19 Kids and Counting and Counting On. Despite being the second oldest child, though, Jana has remained single. There were rumors in January 2021 that she was being courted by a pilot from Nebraska named Stephen Wisman. Jana Duggar outfit rule breaking courtesy of Jana Duggar. Find out where 19 kids and counting alum Jana Duggar is now after sparking engagement rumors. Jana Duggar, the second oldest child of Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar, kept quiet following the release of Amazon Prime Video's Shiny Happy People. Duggar Family Secrets documentary, in which sister Jill Dillard, Nee Duggar, and cousin Amy King, Nee Duggar, exposed the abuse and control the Duggar kids experienced growing up. While other family members shared their thoughts on the four-part series, Jana didn't spoken out, leading many fans to wonder what she's been up to recently. Inside the Duggar family's criminal history, from Josh's arrest to Jana's misdemeanor, is Jana Duggar married? Many of Jana's 18 siblings have gone through the process of courting and getting married, as seen on the Duggar family's now-defunct TLC shows, 19 Kids and Counting and Counting On. Despite being the second oldest child, though, Jana has remained single. There were rumors in January 2021 that she was being courted by a pilot from Nebraska named Stephen Wisman. Lauren Lowood reflects on being new Ridiculousness co-host. Motivating for me to get better. Although it seemed like things fizzled out between them, 
Jana sparked engagement rumors in July 2024 when she was sporting a ring on her left hand. In the photos, the TLC alum enjoyed a family vacation with twin John David Duggar and his wife, Abby Duggar, in South Carolina. Jana is still living at the Duggar family compound owned by her parents in Tontatown, Arkansas. Jim, Bob, and Michelle once revealed on Counting on that their kids were allowed to move out once they reached 18 years old, but some, including Jana, have stayed. Jana also explained to a fan in 2019 that she had no issues bunking with her younger sisters as an adult. Actually, I've had the choice to move to another room but love being in the girls' room with my sisters. She wrote, The evenings are the best. We sit around talking and catching up on each other's days. However, since then, Jenna reportedly moved out of the main house and into a tiny home on the property. This way, she has her own space. As for Jenna's siblings and in-laws, individuals including Jill's husband, Derek Dillard, have claimed that Jim Bob is incredibly controlling, resorting to ostracization if his wishes aren't met by his children. I think what's sad is that the pattern we've seen is kinda happening to us. Where if you're somebody that he can't control then you're cut off. Derek told Entertainment Tonight amid the release of the couple's memoir, Counting the Cost. It's like, I can't control you, so you're cut off. When Counting On was cancelled in 2020, many fans wondered how the Duggars would fill their time and make money outside of reality TV. In Jana's case, that meant becoming a home remodeler, as she once called herself in her Instagram bio. That job title is no longer listed on Jana's page, but she seems to still have a passion for home decor projects. She once gave her parents' bedroom a makeover, and she transformed Jinger Vulo's knee ducker closet during a visit to Los Angeles in 2023. In addition to being a remodeler, Jana is an author, having co-written the book Growing Up Duggar with sisters Jinger, Jill, and Jessa Seawald, knee ducker, in 2014. Jana made headlines in September 2021 when she faced a misdemeanor child endangerment charge due to an incident that happened while she was babysitting. She was not arrested for the incident, but she did go to court, where she pleaded not guilty. In December that year, Jana set the record straight on what happened, revealing that one of the children she was looking after had wandered outside. A concerned neighbor found the child and called the police. A child welfare investigation found that it was an accident. Jana later settled the charge outside of court. The Duggar family has long been associated with the Institute in Basic Life Principles, IBLP, a non-denominational Christian religious organization formerly led by Bill Gothard. Jill and Jinger have gone public with their decisions to leave the IBLP, but what about Jana? She has broken the strict dress code of the IVLP several times. However, Jana hasn't indicated that she has left the IVLP. In September 2023, Jill released her memoir, Counting the Cost, in which she shared her perspective on the Duggar family's fame, their involvement with the IVLP, and her relationship with Jim Bob. Her book included the revelation that Jim Bob and Michelle allowed Jana to become one of Gothard's girls while they were growing up. We were new to the inner workings of IBLP, but we knew enough already to understand why it was only Jana who was invited, Jill recalled in the book. She was the only elder Duggar girl who was blonde, and everybody knew that Mr. Gothard liked blonde girls. We joke about it, calling Jana one of Gothard's girls. It didn't occur to me at all how strange, unsafe, and unwise it was. Following the revelation, a fan asked Jill during a Q and a session on YouTube if she was worried about Jana and other siblings potentially still being involved with the IBLP today. Jill responded, I don't know. I try and not meddle too much in my siblings' lives. I don't know where they're all at. I'll let them tell their story or figure it out themselves. I think anyone that's grown up in IVLP, it's definitely a process, and it's one that's very hard to come away from and kind of sort through. She furthered her stance on the religious organization in an interview with People, explaining, I really do think that IVLP is a form of a cult. I think that even if you remove the person in leadership, 
a lot of those same values and principles are still being taught. So it doesn't fix the problem. Jill continued, I think that's what some people think like. Oh, we've removed Bill Gothard from the situation. It makes everything better. No, it changes and maybe adds a nice storefront to the picture. But it doesn't change the overall principles that are still being taught and held to.